Welcome back to Daybreak here. We're looking forward in a couple of weeks to an event in Detroit that will bring, oh, about 100,000 <laughs> extra people there. It's truck and car racing, and it's supposed to be pretty exciting. The Detroit Grand Prix, it's always a fan favorite, just a few weeks away, but we're starting your engines this morning. 24-hour News 8's Marvis Herring is live in downtown Grand Rapids. Marvis, you're getting ready to go behind the wheel of one of these. Oh, maybe not. What? Well, Casey, I'm ready to just jump into the driver's seat right now, but nobody would want to see that. It would be quite the scene if I was driving one of these race cars. I definitely don't think that I'm quite ready yet. I'll just stick to my Nissan Rogue right now, but we're going to take you live there. We're going to be talking with the race organizers as well as one of the race car drivers coming up. But the countdown is on for the 2017 Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix. 100,000 100, people expected to be there. The infamous raceway at Bell Isle is where you'll find all the action once again again this year. You'll find a number of different cars racing this year, including some from the Verizon IndyCar series and fan favorite trucks of the Speed Energy Stadium Super Trucks. The race is the weekend of June 2nd, just one week after the Indy 500, and there are still tickets available. So if you want to get those tickets, they start at $40. But still ahead on Daybreak, we're going to be talking with the general manager of the Detroit Grand Prix. He's going to be giving us the 411 of what you can expect this year, and we have a special guest coming up at 640. You don't want to miss that. But for now, we're live in downtown Grand Rapids. Marvis Hearing, 24 Hour News 8. You don't realize how close to the ground those oh cars gosh, are until you see them it. up yeah. close. I I've mean, they seen, have to be to make those curves. I've seen Marvis drive the Rogue. Don't let him <laughs> fool you. He could handle it. Well, Teresa, it's going pretty good. I have stayed as far away from this driver's seat as possible because I'm just not ready for cars that move this fast. But you know someone who is, is Ari Leyendijk Jr. He's going to be racing coming up that weekend as well, and he has a long history of racing as well. So thanks for being with us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's my first time to Grand Rapids, so excited to be here. Yes, welcome to Grand Rapids, the best city on the west side. <laughs> You're in West Michigan. We're glad to have you. But first, I want to ask you, um, we talked about it during the break. You're not going to be driving one of these race cars. You're going to be racing a truck. Tell me a little bit about the race that you're involved with this year. Yeah, so I used to race IndyCar. Now I've transitioned to the Stadium Super Truck Series. And what the, what's great about the event is we have a lot of different racing for everyone to check out. So we're one of the many races throughout the weekend. We race on Saturday and Sunday. So what these trucks are, uh, just imagine a 4,000 pound race truck racing on the same race track as the IndyCars do, but with metal ramps. So we hit those ramps and we go, uh, you know, 150 to 200 feet through the air, and it's an all-out brawl for about 20, 10 to 12 laps. And it's, I would say, it's more of a show than a race, but it's definitely exciting for the fans. Yes, I looked up some video from past races and saw those trucks flying off of those ramps. Definitely pretty entertaining there. <laughs> Would you say this is a race that, or these are races that anybody could come out and check out and still enjoy? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, the kids especially love our race trucks. And the, the great part is, is our paddock is situated in the fan village. So the, everyone can come check out the, the race trucks, meet the drivers, and it makes it really unique for the fans because they have such great access to us. One last short question is, do you have any special thing that you're doing to train for? I mean, flying off of these ramps and landing can't be a soft on the body. No, I mean, it's, it, it actually isn't as bad as people think. Um, the, the trucks are set up so well, so when we land, it's actually pretty soft. But, um, you know, I finished second last year. This year, a new partner, we have Lear on board. So it's sort of a hometown uh, company, and, you know, they're from Michigan. So we're going to do uh, them proud and hopefully uh, win it. All right, good luck. And yeah. there are still tickets available. We'll post more information on woodtv.com. But we're live in downtown Grand Rapids. Marvis Hearing, 24-Hour News 8. All right, thanks, Marvis. 100,000 people are going to be there in Detroit for the Grand Prix.